right, Stefan. Big up Panda Wanya, Stefano Ward. My bridging from high school. Yeah, man. Stefano Ward, operator taxi service. You know, so, if you need a taxi, you can link up for the information. You can go on it, is it? Mm. Anyways. So Stefan Howard, I see you have a post where you say how he who fights with his father will eventually fight with his son. And I say, Ja Ja. You know? And I say, Ja Ja. That does sound like a joke. That sound too much of a truth. A man will fight with his father. He might go eventually fight with his son. And that's why I say, yo, people, kids, grown adults, if you're your father, not nah, agree. Try not fight with him. Try to build him up, not tear him down. Try as best as possible. If you need to steal time away, till you can work it out. Do that. But never attack your father. Because the Bible says, Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days will be long upon the land. So you often know them things that they are foundation, principle on which we grow. So if you feel for honor your mother and your father, your days now will be long upon the land. And if you feel for honor your mother and your father, then you know what I'd say. Because remember, it's the first commandment we promise. So you break the first commandment we promise. So, that the thought there, that the quote there, when we say, it read. So, as I say, if you and your people, if you and your father not nah, agree, do the next best, man. Steal time, space, and you, know, you can't work it out, and you can't go for counseling or whatsoever. But if you fight with your father, you could eventually fight with your son. You go eventually fight with your daughter, and this will not promote. This is a no, no, no. As parents, you are set to guide. You have certain things that God equip you with, you know. God equip you with the right knowledge, with wisdom and understanding as a parent, but somehow we will hide it under a bushel. And then we blame the picnic. Because we know we have some parents, you know, we know we have some parents, you know, this is about father. But we have some parents who are very provoking. And tomorrow, our father's day. So we have some parents who are very, very provoking. We have some fathers who are very provoking. And you provoke your people to rap. Remember, you have a responsibility to God as well. Because it's a parents provoke not your children to wrath. So sometimes the parents them are the problem too. Because them are parents them are always right. I mean what it's saying now. He who fights with his father will eventually fight with his son. May I remember the topic? <laughs> yeah, remember when they punch up man or the punch. So we know you have some parents who are very provoking. We know you have some fathers who are very provoking. Some fathers will not play them part and then yet still want to come see our road and, and, and you as a grown man and want to come jeep you because he talk to you and you put a whole head straight. Because you say, yo boy, this man never mind me from Adams and come and come show people about see me pit me there. So you hold it straight and him feel disrespected because he and all in hell. You know? And a bug and a bow so in some work this up. And you know, might not feel pleased if you say your daddy because he never play for him part. So he come come jeep you. Don't fight with him. Don't fight with him. Respectfully. I, I ask him for you. Let you, let you go. Or take your, take your hands off of you. Or you, you take away, you take your hands off of you and you walk away him alone in a fight. Make him alone in a fight. And fathers do not provoke your picnic them. And if you know you don't mind them, nobody go see them and boy, you fling no lick on them arm when they turn adults. Now. Because I know every one of them I go see them and make you fling no lick on them. 
especially in the crowd and especially that them are adult and them are not picky. You never play your role, so now your combo, you, 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 you play a role. You play the wrong role. Because more than likely, you might go feel embarrassed. And the way you embarrassed, you might go embarrassed. So, Father, no fight with your youth. No youth, no fight with your father. Because if you fight with your father, eventually, it's a curse. You have to understand this. The principle. This is a curse, generational curse. It will come back for your aunt. You. Your youth will come back for you in a war with you. I mean, know exactly what I say. I know exactly what I say. Years I got you with, with this, but yet still. I try to remain humble. Tell her, what you go so boom and just dash it to me. I always try dash it to but somehow it always come back. How do you try again, you know? Because uh, you want to do the right thing, you know? You know? You want to do the right thing. You want to be in the right. You don't want to stop your blessing. And that's why you have to try to do the right thing. You know? So, if you have up to your father, release him so God can release your blessing. And fathers, some of them do some something when you're right. And then you walk on the scandal, the pity, and tell life, and them how to put it on the youth, them say the youth this and the youth that. When you know no fear facts, you don't know go. So, God is watching you. You have to give a comfort. And then the people can walk in peace. Because what? The lies them we tell. Because the truth is, if a man knows say your father normally take care of you all along. And then your father start going with some foolishness and thing and thing. When the man see you and your, your father be complaining to you and you try to show him your side, most times they don't believe you. And yes, I don't realize that most of the times the people are there for themselves. When they tell you this and that, you know, your father say and you try to if you just reason with them and say, right, this is how it go. And them say, no, okay, I'm going to And them type of people that eat when they come around. Because when they mix up, when they blend up, when they can't just say itself. Because when they hold on to the phone side, but yet still when they come, so when they see clarity, and then when they go back to the east, the she say, and then when they cause more confusion. But right now, we are rebuke that. We are rebuke that. Yes, in Jesus' name, we are rebuilt that. Because we are saying, oh, he who fights with his father will eventually fight with him. So now we know uh, none of our friend them are nobody at all. But we know uh, none of our friend them a fight with them father. We know uh, none of our friend them a fight with them mother. Because they might eventually come, come fight with them youth. And there's a penalty if you fight with your father. There's a penalty if you fight with your youth. help us God help us open our eyes because that's the reality if you fight with your daddy more than likely you can fight with your piggy and that's not good for you not at all how about demons that let go if you fight with your father and fight with your piggy so fathers you have a responsibility for play. As a father, you must be a leader. So you must lead the family and lead them in the right path. You know, you know what the Bible says? If a man cannot lead his family, oh, you have to lead the church of God. Tell me how. So that at the first place, you must lead your family. And that's why you be ensure say yo. Any division in the family, you cut it. Do your part and leave the rest to God. So when you try your best and not no work out, leave it to God. You just leave it in the hands of God and it will work it out. 
But you know, say because of you. You are the father. You are with the people. If you are disciplined, the people that's different. But you can't, but you kick them, box them, top them, fling big stone. You know, or uh, chop up and run them, pick them for chop up. And pick the can and do the same thing like that. Because he's supposed to know the same father. That. And that's why the father, you have the responsibility, you know, because you see if you grow up in the right way, the Bible says, train up a child in the way he should grow, that when he's old, he will never depart from it. So if you grow up in the right way, you think he might go do that? Do you think he might go do that? Yeah, be my fighting battles when he's when he need them. You know what? None of them are friends, them are war with them parents. Why you come back on war with them people? But I stress on this. Do the right thing as a father, and that will prevent you and your kids leading into a war. Because no time when me hear man say they want to kill them daddy. And I say, why you want to kill your father? Because me, me can't tolerate that. Why you want to kill your father? Man say you never mind me from the DM band. You see me? You spend for every, every other people pick me and never spend for me. You see me? You never look for me but you might come tell me say me if do this and me if do that. I want to run my life. A yeah, man never mind me from the day in barn. I want to fly a fire lick for me. So you see, you have to do your part. You have to do your part. You got put for lead. You have a responsibility to God and your family, you know. Because God said, Christ is the head of the church. And so is the husband, the head of the house. So as a father, you have a deep responsibility. And you will be held accountable. How much I want to get picking one in our mind? I want to make it up with them. We are picking and talk how much in years, how much in money them father would them because and they did them ban. Them father no give them nothing. Remember my friend Sherida Sadler and I make a post one time when she said she posted up one time where it say yo her father left say I go buy milk and from that he, he then I see him back so if you see him now tell him say I ain't the king me drink the whole point is that from she a local baby maybe before she start creep father walk out maybe Maybe before she born, the father walk out and now she a big old grown woman. She have a family for her own. Her father still not come back. Still not see him back a year from him. Her in him good a year from him. But he still not pull him away. People gotta see him. So, you have a responsibility. I mean, I support no father when I do what I'm supposed to do and say my father. Because everybody, every man can be a daddy, you know. Every man can be a daddy. But it takes a grown man. I miss a grown, not just size. Maturity, mental, to be a father. For love your children and grow them the right way for love people children as your own and treat people children as all you don't want people to treat for your picnic because you are holy for stepfather when I treat people pick a good too and if a member you have you that anything can happen you don't want nobody me ill treat your picnic so mm -hmm. so when I want nobody a a fight with their stepfather. And we don't want a stepfather abuse their step pitney. And vice versa, we don't want a stepmother abuse their step pitney. And we don't want to, you know, because sometimes, sometimes the problem really starts with, you know, the pitney them sense jealousy. And they say fight start. 
Because you treat few people better than how you treat. You treat them. You have them as the outcast. And me attack because we have experience. So you have them as the outcast. And you do all the negatives that you want to do with them. You treat them the most. The most. I don't even know what you say. But you treat them so. <laughs> you treat them in, a, in such a, 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 a manner. When they feel like they're going to run. They're going to give up. They're going to run with life. God said, I'm going to look down. Gotta say enough is enough, and at that due time, me go cut it off. Me, I go cut it off. Me, I put a stop to it at a due time. So God said, go and endure. And that's why enough people grow with the hatred. So you treat your people as if they're better, you know. So you have all your people, and you come, they come meet, meet. The youth and him parent. You gotta treat few people better than him. Hmm? You know, treat them as all people and, 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 and treat them equal. You know, the sight of God and you know. You walk. They step people in a slave. And you pamper yours. And the little jealousy start coming. They give your people more money and you know, work. Yeah? the money where imperial provide through no guys for the picking in gas school both of them, both team picking and instead picking and you treat for your picking better than him hey may i go cut this now because but <laughs> me i talk from experience me i talk from experience me now i go too deep the book i go come out and i go see the book because me now i know god bless don't fight with your parents he who fights with his father will eventually fight with his son god bless